Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how to install Quantip. Quantip is an open source C++ library. We can use it as the building blocks in our program code to model and price any financial instruments. To write our program code with Quantip, first of all, we need to install a compiler. In Windows platform, we can use Visual Studio because it is free and it has a nice user interface. Search Visual Studio in the internet. And then select Community, which is the free edition of Visual Studio. Now we have the installation program in our download folder. We can click the program to begin the installation online. Select the development with C++ option in order to get the C++ compiler bundle with Visual Studio. So now we have Visual Studio installed, we are ready to launch the interface. Sign in using the Microsoft account. If you don't have one, you can apply one for free. The next step is to download the Quantip related C++ library called Boost. Search Boost in the internet. Go to the download link. Instead of download the source library, I suggest to download a pre-compiled version to save us some compilation time. As of today, this zip file is the latest version which is pre-compiled using Visual Studio 2017. To manage our work better, we may create a library folder somewhere, for example on the desktop. Now we can install the Boost library into our library folder. So now we have both the Visual Studio and Boost library installed. The next step is to download and unzip the Quantip source library and compile it. Search Quantip in the internet. Go to the download page. After the zip file is downloaded, we can unzip it to the library folder. So now we have the Quantip source library in the library folder. The next step is to compile the Quantip library. While the solution container is being loaded, 
we will be asked for the security concern, we can unclick the Ask Me Every Project option. The solution contains many projects. One of them is for building the library, and the rest of them are the examples and the test suite. After the solution is loaded, we need to tell the compiler where to find the boost library in group path and the library path. These are located in the library folder that we have just created. Press Shift key and select all the projects in the solution folder. Then click the properties button. Select all config and platform. Here we tell the compiler where to find include path of the boost library. And here we tell the linker where to find the library path of the boost library. Save all the project's configuration. OK, now we can build the solution, including the library itself, the test search, and the examples. But if we want to save some time, we can skip the test suit and the example at this moment. Press the control key to deselect Cornlib. And then right click your mouse, choose unload to unload the test suit and the example projects from the solution. Now we can choose build solution to begin the compilation process. OK, in this project, the Windows SDK 8.1 is being used. So let's go back to the Visual Studio installer to add back the SDK option. We also need to close the other Visual Studio windows in order to start adding back the SDK. Now let's build the library again. It may take more than one hour to complete the compilation. We are compiling the debug version of the library. After that, we may do another run to compile the release version of the library. Now the compilation of the debug version of the library should be done. Let's look at the conlib library folders to see if the library file is in place. OK, now let's do another round to compile the release version of the library. Now both the debug and release version of the Quantive library should be in place. In the next video, let's do an example and see if we have installed Quantive properly. And then I will give you some reference on how to use Quantive and where you can see for the support if you have a problem that you want to solve it by Quantive. Thanks for watching and see you next time.